I don't know anyone who actually enjoys networking events. Too bad they're pretty unavoidable for those of us who want to take action for our career. We can't, unfortunately, do it alone watching Netflix. The good news is, yes, I promise there are some, is that there are strategies you can put into place to make getting through an awkward networking event a breeze, even if you're a hardcore introvert. So here are my seven networking tips for awkward introverts like me. One, plan ahead. We fear the unknown. Do yourself a favour by researching the event in advance. Even looking up the event space ahead of time, many will have online galleries, allows you to visualise it. Doing this innately calms us, as we know what to expect. Two, prep your small talk. If you can also find out who else might be attending in your industry ahead of time, you can do a bit of online stalking to learn about them. Then you can prepare something to say that is slightly more interesting than nice shoes, though when in doubt, if a small talk, compliments do go far. Asking questions is a great way to ease in. I know most of us introverts struggle with talking about ourselves, so turning the tables is a win-win. For example, if someone tells you something like where their next holiday is, ask a follow-up question like, what's next on your bucket list? Rebecca Hendricks, a psychologist, makes the great point that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Follow-up questions show you that you really care, that you're listening and instantly make you more likeable. Three, bring a friend. If you can convince a fellow colleague or friend to meet you at the event, you'll be much more likely to show up. I find that if no one knows that I'm going, I'm more likely to bail on the event. One word of warning, do not spend the event talking only to them. They can be a great help to warm you up, but don't use a familiar face as a crutch. That's not what you came for. Four, find the wallflower. Many networking tips will tell you to find someone who looks comfortable, confident and extroverted. This can work, but I find that it's far too intimidating for many of us, at least at the start of the event. Instead, find someone who looks equally awkward and warm up by talking to them. It's comforting to know that you aren't the most awkward person in the room, and with this confidence you can easily move on to bigger groups. 5. Turn on airplane mode. Another crutch we sometimes rely on at networking events is our bestie, our phones. If possible, turn your phone onto airplane mode to make sure that you aren't distracted by messages on Facebook when times are getting tough. 6. Set a timer. This is one of my favourite techniques, which applies to anything that we won't necessarily enjoy. Give yourself just 20 minutes to stick it out. It's a manageable amount of time, and even if you leave after that, at least you know you've tried, you've shown up. It also forces you to make the most of your time, rather than spending it by the snack table or pretending to text someone. 7. Get your excuses ready. When your 20 minutes is up and you do feel the urge to bail, have a decent excuse ready. This will reduce your anxiety about leaving and make sure that fellow guests don't feel like they're boring you, even if they are. To get your free cheat sheet on how to get through any networking event, go to thecreativeintrovert.com forward slash networking and enter your details.